This is a canvas head. One of the things you'll notice about the canvas head is that it has three seams. The center seam is the center of the face. Each seam here represents the eye. The wig should be fitting just beneath this bump. If it is not, clearly the block is too big for the wig. Okay, that being said, we'll take our lace front wig. There's a back and there's a front. Now the front is the soft lace, the back is a medium lace. It makes it more durable for use. We're going to handle this in a delicate way over the ear, which is the conjunction between the front and the back. Make sure all the little hairs of the wig are out of the lace. So we have our stand, it's clamped onto the table, and we're facing center front. It's now important to take the wig, holding it in the conjunction over the ear, with the lace not folded under. You're going to slide the wig too far forward. As I'm sliding it onto the block, I'm going to take my fingers and gently rub it into the back or the nape of the wig. This will cup the wig on. It's very important now for us to make this flat. So we're going to essentially steam or iron our lace flat by using the bias tape. I tend to cut myself about two and a half feet. I fold it in half, find the center, and this is where we'll use small pins. Now we take our bias tape, fold it in half, finding the center. We're pleased with how we've lined up our wig, making sure that it's blocked correctly, none of the edges are rolled under, the back is cupped over the occipital, and we're now going to put a pin through the center, and we're going to pin through both the lace and the bias tape. Now we're going to turn and manipulate the bias tape in a curve, and we're going to pin it in. I like to pin center and then over the eye, making sure that all my hairs are back. And then I'll go and lay the lace flat. I'll pin another at the sideburn. And then I fill in the gaps. What we do with the sideburn area is we take the bias tape and flip it. From there, we'll pin the very edge and fold this back. And I like to put an extra pin right there. Simply take two pins and you're going to put one in each corner of the nape. There's the square of the lace. You'll fold the lace down, put a pin directly through it. I'm pinning from down at a diagonal up. And I'm just going to add some arbitrary pins. So we'll do one center, we'll do one here. Maybe we'll do two on the side. And now your wig is ready for styling. And that is how you block a wig.